Gaudi again. Uh, I'm in Melbourne today and welcome to the Agathon channel. Hi, I'm, I'm, I'm with Gary here. Uh, I'd like to introduce Gary. Can you say, um, introduce yourself to the audience? Hi, Gary. Yeah, thank, thank you. Um, look, I, I think, you know, look, ultimately, look, I've, I've been working, you know, with, with Gary now for several years. Uh, and I think ultimately, um, my, you know, dealings with Gary has been positive. Mm -hmm. um, everything, uh, you know, with the Agathon has been very pleasant. Uh, I really, for mine, I, I enjoy working with, with Gaudi and, and the team at the Agathon simply because um, it's a, you know an organisation that puts a lot of diligence into the property the property selection process, mm -hmm. which is somewhat in you know in you know, the rare and special these days. Yes, uh, in, yes. In, and especially in booming times and, and, and in, in, in the property market, certainly when we talk about Melbourne and, right. and, and you know Australia and Melbourne in particular. Um, what I particularly like to do um, with the Agavon and, and I think my deal is typically is about sourcing appropriate stock you know for Gaudi's clients. So how long have you been in the, in the property? Uh, I've been in the property industry look geez I've probably shown my age here now but I'd say for at least 15 <laughs> years. 15 years um, yes. It, it's it's it, it, it's quite a, a good journey uh, uh, you, you get to obviously uh, learn a lot as as the years go on, uh -huh. um, but but my expertise and specialty is really in the Melbourne um, property sector, and, right. and, and and you know I've, I've had exposure across you know all residential uh, classes, be that townhomes, apartments, and landed property in, in, in house and land. Yeah. Okay. So Gary, what are the challenges when um, foreign investors are going to buy a property? In Melbourne, what do, do they have to look at? I think, I think, I think the challenges are, are you know, equal for for, for locals, uh, you, know, the, um, you know, local individuals from Australia and and foreign purchasers. In that, the fundamentals aren't going to change. But you need to, you know, think about positioning, um, amenity, existing location, and yeah. future. That's right. Yeah, yeah positioning, location. location okay. um, you know, I think that that's important. But I think for foreign purchasers, um, you know, the an element of the unknown uh, yeah, as well yes, because yes. you know they're not from Melbourne they're not, they're, they're not from Australia they yes. may not necessarily understand you know what we look for in Australia may be different to 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 what what you look for Gaudi in, in Indonesia yeah. Jakarta for example mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, you know so for, for, for me on a personal level you know I, I, I would probably look for the a large backyard where I can have a barbecue and entertain. Yes. Um, whereas, and I can only speculate, but in Jakarta it might be, you know, you're looking for that perfect apartment that's very, very close to the metro, uh, you know, some train station. So it, it, it sort of differs uh, for, for every individual. Um, but I think what's very important, um, you know, and you know, for, for all purchases and, and probably foreign purchases. Um, yeah. More so is is actually getting into a property or, or purchasing a property in an area, uh, a location, a position, a location, whichever word you want to term, mm -hmm. that is not speculative. And, and, and what I, I mean by that, it's you know, you know, if you know, I'm on Collins Street right now in in, in the heart of Melbourne. Okay. Um, you know, it's. Mm -hmm. It's not speculative to, to invest here because, in this sense, because I know there's a tram out there yeah. and, you know, yeah. on the street. Yeah. I know that Flinders Street train station is 50 metres away. Yeah. Everything's existing. Mm -hmm. um, now, purchasing on Collins Street is not that attainable for most individuals, yeah. um, just given the, the prices. So when we you know, look at, say, landed product, you know, house and land, uh, as, as a perfect example, we, we, we typically would like to look at neighbourhoods and areas where there is a degree of established amenity already. You know, uh, yes. although although there's a lot of planning and a lot of you know effort is put in place that all of these new communities will get amenity if it's not there. Yeah, I think it's important you know, for for mine to to have a degree of 
established amenity nearby. And I think that becomes even more important for investors because typically an investor would want to have a tenant in there, so the property needs to be tenantable yeah, yeah. or desirable for tenants. All right, Gary, thanks for your answers. And I think we are going to take the audience now downstairs um, to look at the, the uh, display, display of the kitchen and the quality of the, the, the projects that we uh, provide to you guys. Right. Yeah, absolutely. Hopley Werribee uh, Sales Center. We have house and, home and, house and land packages here. Very uh, beautiful um, options uh, for you. Right. Here we go. I'll show you some of the lake, and um, it's a beautiful day. Sunny. There you go. Yeah. I think one of the good things about Harpley Estate is that there's a lot of it, a lot of parks and, and, and sort of public amenity. Yeah. Which is pretty important. Uh huh. Okay. Look behind here. We have the lake. It's beautiful. What do you think of, of, of this area, Gary? I, I, I think it's fantastic. You know, we, we quite often recommend this to a lot of our purchases. Okay. We, we get a lot of owner occupiers here. Local it's, buyers as well? Absolutely. Absolutely. Right, a lot of local owner occupiers. Yeah, yeah. I'm with James here, he's in charge of this project, Botanica, in South Melbourne. And I'm going to let James uh, explain about this uh, magnificent project. So, uh, the desirable thing about this project, uh, Botanic, is obviously its location. Mm -hmm. You essentially feel like you're in the city, but you're not. Uh, two tram stops away to get to the Arts Precinct, which is essentially the CBD. Yeah. So for people that want to, a lot of people uh, like to obviously work in CBD, but they don't necessarily want to live in it. Yeah. And the reason is because you feel like you've never left work. This gives you the convenience of being too much proximity to work, whilst also enjoying um, a nice greenery and lush botanical gardens that no one has to offer. Yeah, apart from the nice environment that um, the residents get to enjoy is the convenience of a brand new train station, which will be finished in 2025. Down here? Down here, Domain Interchange, okay. which is not even like a tram stop away, it's essentially just walking distance. How long is it to the city? To the city? Yeah. You're looking at the most one kilometre. One kilometre? Yeah, the most. I think it's a few hundred metres off the top of my head. For residents, yeah. uh, what kind of transport is the best for them to go? To the city. city. For me, buses, yeah. trams, and trains, right? Yeah. For me, if I'm just going to go to the city, I'm probably just going to take a tram. Yeah. Almost likely, I like to walk. You like um, to walk it? I like to walk, so I'm just going to walk it because yes. it's quite nice. Uh, it's only one kilometre. It's less than one kilometre if you're living in Botanic. Yeah. To the city there. 
James, so what kind of uh, facilities do you have in this apartment building? Uh, residents get to enjoy spectacular facilities. Um, as you can see, there's a nice internal garden where, bar, uh, where residents can have friends over and barbecues. So this is a public area? This is a public area that everyone can use. Okay. Uh, barbecues. Can you book? Yeah, you, you just book. It's pretty easy to book. You just call concierge. It's free, right? And it's free. Okay. Um, it's part of your body corporate. Right. Um, so each apartment will have their own body corporate rates mm -hmm. um, and we have a list of our Okay. Uh, which we provide to you guys. Sure, sure. And it's got an indoor pool, very, very nice. Um, and it's also got a gym as well. It looks really good. Yep, yep. Mm -hmm. um, I just like the backdrop of that as well. Yeah. The kind of, kind of little theme that it's going for, tied in with the Royal Botanical Gardens. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. What about this one here? I like the design of this. Yep. Lobby. This is the entrance lobby. Entrance and, lobby. Yep, and this essentially goes up to a main room. Okay, that also can be used for residents. Yes, all part of the package. Okay. Uh, what's this one here? Yeah, so that's the external garden, but I was, uh, I mean, internal garden that I was talking about yeah. on number five. All amenities are on number five. Okay, level two. Yeah, yeah, except that one with a meeting room, that's on level two. Okay. Um, now, this is obviously, you can see the barbecue area uh, where guests can dine mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. and eat lunch. So, perfect for your Christmas barbecues. Um, your Easter's, yeah. whatever holiday you want to celebrate. Okay. Or occasion. Right, right. I can see some color schemes yep. right here. Perhaps we can get the audience to see. Of course. So James, tell me, tell us more about the building. You know, how many levels, units and all that? Yeah. Uh, so there's a total of 20 levels. Uh, good product mixes of penthouses, some penthouses, some large amalgamation of three bedrooms. Okay. Your standard three bedrooms. Two bedrooms, uh, two bed plus one bathroom, uh, and one bedrooms. Now, um, this project we believe is well, in the area, mm -hmm. uh, but one bedrooms are the most sought after um, units. One bedroom. Yes. Okay. Uh, and the reason for that is because you, we're finding a lot of these aspirational buyers or um, aspirational um, white collar young uh, working uh, independent individuals. Uh, that want to live close to the city, but not necessarily mix in the city. Okay. Now, um, just from what we've seen, it's great value for a one bedroom here, mm -hmm. and the rentals here are quite strong. Okay. Um, with one bedrooms so without a car space, um, you're looking at 520 approximately, oh, from what we've we seen. Uh, yeah, with uh, furnished apartments. Furnished. Yeah, so that's what we've seen on REA. And also from the other agents that we've been working with. Okay. But okay. you want to show us um, some of the uh, layouts? Yeah. Layouts here. That's a typical one bedrooms. Yeah. Like that. Mm -hmm. Now there's a few options as well. And this is the most common one that we'll see in this. Okay. okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Um, so this is the botanic. Um, James has already explained everything. Um, if you need to get more details, you can go on my website, agathonproperty.com. You can always email me for some more um, discussion details. And don't forget to subscribe to Agathon channel. See ya.